Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cosmic Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Victor Emmanuel III, a national populist lover, in which we're going to talk about women's roles enforced. The law of women's stature has been passed, effectively meaning that women can no longer <clears throat> uh, work in many industries, own land, or even choose their own husbands. The patriarch of the family now holds a monopoly on his household, Through some, though some argue that we should at least allow women to be nurses, and for as far as our cultist followers are concerned, priestesses. They may be. They are either wives or maids. Well, national populism and, and concubinage. Were their enemies being felled in the repeal of uh, women's uh, <clears throat> R-words, as conceived by absurd liberalism, the Legion has become increasingly public about their advocacy of warriors being able to take on concubines, either gifted by the king for the services or one of war. A practice the Legion is rumored to secretly be practicing by passing them off as mistresses. Much of the cause of these demands are from Evola's denunciation of monogamy for being what he views as a means for women to enslave male virility to Eros, claiming not only that class virilal civilizations allowed the practice, but that the domination of women was a natural way of expressing the male spirit on the practical level, but also allowed for a faster growing population of legionaries. While the king is surprised by this turn of events, he is also well aware that this could keep the nobles happy if he instituted it just for them and this would have less impact on society. On the other hand, he could inspire soldiers by allowing them to take concubines via conquest to the commanders allowed us as well. What should we do? Only for nobles? For legions and nobles. Soldiers are eligible as well. Catholic resistance will strengthen. Oh boy. It's time to, it's too rad to keep, to keep monogamy. Oh, just keep it. Catholic resistance. Is there another path for us? Like, can we get cooed? Uh, cool. No? Is that it? Okay. Uh, cool. Hmm. Only for nobles. Soldiers are eligible as well. Well... Well, that's an interesting take, I will say. After training, this stuff is not bad. Supply consumption, like we said last time, was pretty good as well. Uh, of course, we're striking consumerism. If you want to do that again, please go right ahead. Hmm, because over here, religious, increasing religious influence. Is there a way we can see that? Weakening religious influence, Catholic resistance will decrease. Increase religious influence, Catholic resistance will weaken. Remove austerity measures, which would be really good to get rid of. A Corvier system with a caste system. Interesting. You get more entrenchment speed. And more max entrenchment as well. The West. Oh boy. Rome rises again. Um, the Vikings. That sound actually sounds really cool. Vatican is vulnerable. Well, before we keep going on, um, let's go over some comments before we make a full on decision, such as uh, it should have been called the Grand Esoteric Barony of Italy, considering Evola claimed to be a baron. Hail Evola, says another person. Nice. Please read Revolt Against the Modern World, The Crisis of the Modern World, and The Decline of the West, which is a good one. Read. Uh, someone else says, I, for one, welcome our new anti-modernity overlord. Yeah. And also someone says, my reaction to Western Command Center being green now was so relatable. And let's see. There's a mod that allows you to do formidable nations in Kraik, or Kaiserreich, and Kaiseridux. Also says, also, ride the tiger, hail Evola. And it looks like someone says they want uh, sound warrior priests. Very nice. The neon tiger is not going to ride itself. Very nice. Someone says finish the papacy for good, please. Rome goes crazy campaign. This one it says another person. Is this Radsock Italy? Someone asks. Nope, it is Nat Pop. And we also need to go through a couple other things. But with concubinage, it doesn't really matter too much. Primordial faith greatly increased religious. Eh. Catholic resistance. We just keep it. Mm. For legions and nobles. Okay, we'll go with that one. Why not? I said guys, which I did read last time. If you want to read this again, please read it, which I'm pretty sure I did. So, I'll reread again now. Modernism has chained the species to material wants, the lowest of desires. Poverty is no vice to society, for it simply is another struble that can create great men in the best of a race should not be uh, decided by their wealth, but by their spirituality and actions. Let us add again respect asceticism. Greatly increase your religious influence. Actually, is that a natural spirit? Smash consumerism. Which we're currently trying to do right now. Um, yeah, that's not very good. Oh my goodness. Be removed with been about a month. Evolium fringe is very nice. We have the legionary elite, of course. We have Amarta Armato Rosso, which is pretty decent. Not terrible. And that's the Grail. Once you get more weekly stability, which is actually very good, even though right now we're losing eh, quite a bit. I got a lot of political power too, so we should probably actually spend that. Um Chief of the Navy. Uh, naval speed's not bad. Bad. Capital ship attack. Convoy rating. Sword efficiency. Capital ship stuff. First, that's fine. We could use more naval XP, any XP anyways. And see what happens next. Send in the army. We could get more stability that way. I want to wait. 
attack the Italian Federation. The time has come for Risorgimento to be completed. We must liberate the workers of the Italian Federation and incorporate them into the Socialist Republic. Nice. Strike consumerism? Oh, you bet we will. Uh, national populism is pretty good to get. Anti-clericalism. Yeah. Let's go with that one. And uh, I can't remember where this one is well, but let's do this one. Anti-clericalism. For too long, the Catholic priests have prevented the centralization of power under the under the monarch and in favor of giving spiritual authority to a papacy that preaches a modernist slave morality. While transition uh, out of traditional Catholicism will not be easy, a good start would be anti-clericalism that clogs issues of Pope's influence in just as nationalist terms as spiritual ones. Merchants beg for an exception. As part of a battle against the encouragement of pointless softness that modern technology promotes, most civilian vehicles are being taken by the Legion. However, Mercantilist class begins begs to have an exception made for them, noting that they need these vehicles to move wares. While they are early are already being allowed to keep a handful of trucks. Legion inspectors say is absolutely needed for supply. They argue it would be more efficient for the economy if they let them keep more of their vehicles. Nice. Oh, we need a lot to him for this one too, huh? Very well. <clears throat> no exceptions. Um, I think it'll be okay. Very well. Sicilian resists. Or Sicily resists. The Sicilian Mafia has been acting in conjunction with local rebels to oppose a rule over the region. With the Mafia being motivated by our attempts to confiscate their ill-gotten gains, the rebels motivated largely by the demands for democracy or for us to cease our attacks on Catholicism. When only a small detachment of legionnaires or a grail knight enter the region, they are ambushed, so we must act in absolution. We can either put Sicily under earth siege and use our navy to block them from the supplies until the rebel leaders turn themselves in and their population turns on them. Or we could land a garrison on the island and fight their way to the capital and eliminate all listed enemies, followed by hunting down rural mob bosses. Embargo? Take Palermo. Battle for Palermo. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, we got a battleship. Look at that. Nice. Are we fighting somebody? Uh oh. Oh, no, no, no. We, we have volunteers. That's right. I forgot about that. My bad. There's been a few days between this episode and the last one, so uh, I forgot about this. So. See what you know. Okay, go with it. Dijon would be very good. Anything up here we can really do? Just ship stuff? That's fine with us. Whatever. Get as much XP as you can and kill Staracha. As much as possible, even though we're now out of fuel, which is not very good. Battle for Palermo. The Battle for Palermo was bloody, but finally we managed to break the rebellion in the city and now pushing away into the rural hideouts. Interrogating any villagers suspected of working with them. With mobsters fleeing the area and rebels being destroyed, the region's ours, albeit at a high cost, nonetheless, the loss has helped demoralize the resistance for regime. Perhaps we should set more of an example. Legion outpost. There's now our serfs. Just purge all who may be treacherous. Purge all? Give more national pop support, which I want to max that out. I really want to max it out a whole lot. Uh, purge all, purge? Well, we are a legion, right? Eh, why not? We'll purge. A side purge never hurt anybody. Core V system. With their tax on traditional capitalism and encroachment of a caste system, some of our serfs simply do not have the means of providing taxes to the Legion. However, so once again an opportunity to learn from our ancestors rather than institute a crude monetary system by instituting the Core V system, which will place taxes for those who simply can't pay them or with the required days of government directed labor. Core Vs will have greater rights than the class beneath them, the slaves, but nonetheless are required to carry out the work. The latest labor will provide us with all with will also allow our economy to ex exit the worst that black money has caused for whatever that's worth. Consumer swoes will soon be behind us regardless. Nice. Yeah, better consumer goods. Army leader cost goes down. More entrenchment speed. Very nice. More max entrenchment. Oh, yes. As we finish off with the vows and anti-clericalism. Catholic resistance will strengthen. Go figure. Blood and spirit be nice. Uh, I do want to get that research slot pretty darn quickly. But at the same time, I do want this stuff as well. So after this one, we'll go into blood and spirit. We are the descendants of the Atlanteans, the Hyperboreans, and Romans, making us capable of continuing a race with the best of traditions and formative energies. This concept should unite the population unlike the nationalism born from the French Revolution, and likewise means that we cannot allow our blood, which contains the very spirit of race, to be diluted. Integralist resistance, though. The Kamakalisi Neri has gone from be merely being a nuisance to being our legion, or to the legion. In the words of Evola, a lingering modernist tumor, since our attempts to strike the Catholic Church has seen a growth as it had built itself as a defenders of Catholicism. And even mainstream conservative Catholics such as Mario Scalaba have reportedly joined them. The king has reassured the people that he is merely opposing the presently pseudo-Christian Vatican for weakening the state while Evola has privately done the opposite with the legion, and declared the holy war against darkness as truly beginning. With a Camasinera attacking Legion garrisons, stealing supplies, and launching propaganda campaigns against us, we must stop them. We can punish their families in an effort to flush them out or simply interrogate priests whom are undoubtedly hiding them. What should we focus on the families? The church. 
Hmm. I did ask you guys yesterday before we talk about that one. Whether we should do finish the papacy and have warrior priests versus a platonic church and the Gilabine revival. So overall, there's it's actually very quite close actually. But at the time of this recording, there is just a little bit more support for a platonic church, of course. So we will go down this route as well. Um, so if that's the case, we're going more national popular support. Finish the Papacy, I would love that. Increase religious influence, greatly increase religious influence. But this one more national popular support. The families, we'll go with the church. Because we can. Just because we can. Nobel Legion del Resveglio. Nice. But yeah, blood and spirit is definitely what we want next. Absolutely. The question of the church is, with many priests whom are refusing to renounce the papal authority in favor of the king fleeing the area or disappearing, the question of what to do with the church's remains. Any churches deemed abandoned are now under the control of King Emmanuel III to the outrage of the papacy. Barony Vold likes to repurpose them as legion at posts where ceremonies can be held, but other proposals are to hand it to the nobility as a reward for loyalty or allow the serfs to take them over. However, some legionnaires have rejected each of these proposals and have stated that they should be stripped clean of the riches by the state, then burned to the ground, help end papal influence in two Sicilies. Alternative evil himself does not seem opposed to. While the king is shown to be anti-clerical and to have a hatred of the Pope's attempts to control him, most are unsure he would go so far. For the military? For the nobility? For the serfs? And burn them down. I want to do that. I really want to do that one now. I'm going to burn them down, but that's okay for now. Hey, look at that. More stability? Very good. So going up? 66% uh, percent support for our government. And what else can we do here? Oh, yeah, a lot of things here. Look at that. Um, more soft attack. I like that. Pretty more defense would be pretty good, too. Two is not bad. A lot more soft attack. Attack. Uh, that's really good. Actually, 10% more soft attack, breakthrough, and 5% more heart attack. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that one. I'm feeling that one quite a bit. Now, this is important and all, but we can wait for that one. So, after blood and spirit. Science constrained. It's no surprise that the vacuous modernists, sciences, study of the material world over a spiritual exploration. Technology and studies that encourage decadence that will end with all such remaining resources being centralized by the state, and put only towards the practical matter of fighting off the allies of decadence. Seeing all increasing triumph in religious terms, an increase in number of legion members, and uh, we are seeing an increase, and are said to be practicing occult rituals for good luck before battle, even growing stricter in the personal belief in and practice of Evola's occultist faith of tradition. If the nobility whom follow Evolianism have taken an increased interest in the faith and its fetishism of them. Excellent. Nice. More, even more political power, recruitable population, less division of attrition, better consumer goods, recovery rates, stability, encryption. I love it. And I hope you love it as well. Uh, more research speed, because we can use the extra research slot eventually, yes sir. And armor trains are kind of the way to go. Very nice. Science contained, very good. Very, very good. And then primordial faith. Racial laws ordered. The racial or radical traditionalists have long believed in a form of spiritual racism, in which blood contains the phys phys psychological elements of tradition and provides the life force of a people. Where well, this racial mixing has been banned in the Aryan Roman, Roman has a clearly higher status than others within our territory, the question is now of how to treat... <clears throat> How to treat, of course, those of minority ancestry with two proposals given. Ones allow them to organize into their own hierarchies modeled on our values for those who pledge loyalty to the king, pay tribute, pledge soldiers to our wars, and acknowledge kings and his nobil nobles' supremacy. This way we can use the best of aristocratic spirit that exists amongst themselves for their own purposes, or, as Arthur Regini, and much of the legion is strongly pushed for, we could simply place them in our lowest castes and let them prove themselves in combat when the time comes. Loyal to ours, the rightful place is always beneath us. That should be a case-by-case -case basis, that's not a bad idea, but... National Daddyism. Bombing of Bari. The Kamasi have attacked our factories and soldiers today after setting off an explosive in the port of Bari. They must be found at once. Shall we sign more Grail Knights with investigation or make out or make our war with the remaining Integralists our top priority? Put Knights on the case. We can use that political power. We get more national support. Nice. These guys are still flooding in quite a bit. It's a little concerning, not gonna lie. A little concerning here. Definitely don't want them to lose, but we'll see. Um, your age are looking pretty nice, not gonna lie. They're looking pretty nice. Oh! Anatolian. Is that. The Ottoman Counter Revolution? Have I ever seen that before? Oh, they don't have any new folks. Oh, that'd be so cool if they did, though. Oh, that'd be really cool if they did. This war has got to be extraordinarily costly for Germany. I know you don't have any entrenchment, but that's okay. You didn't need it. 
All right, so what else after this? Nothing over here. Oh, shit, they, I kind of wish they would remove trees. Um, after, like, ooh, the mafia state looks like fun. Um, after you choose your way, but I'm kind of glad they don't, so we can actually see what's all around here. So, not bad. Yeah, I mean, this would be nice and all, but just not super necessary. It doesn't give you any combat advantages or anything like that right now. Blueprints are not bad and all, but still. Military, ooh. Well, that's not bad to do as well. Small arms industry, that's not bad. Service by requirement, military research focus. It's not bad, but not extremely necessary. Air Force. I mean, if you got, like, more daily air speed, then I probably would probably do a race towards it. But even the Navy itself, there's nothing that gives you daily naval XP, which is probably the most crucial thing that we could use. So, um, after that, the Vatican is vulnerable. Primordial faith. Ooh. Spiritual castism. Casticism. Remove austerity measures, which would be actually really good to get rid of, yeah. Let's get rid of that. So we need primordial faith. There is a faith for more eternal than the materialistic science and meek Christianity supported by the modernists. It allows us to achieve transcendence by understanding the traditions of our people. It is our true faith. Don't lose too much or too fast, guys. Do the best you can. Have you seen any more divisions yet? No? Okay. Nice. Ah, a full three such slot. Beautiful. Finally. Spiritual casticism. At long last, the king and our warrior nobility have established total dominance. We must not recognize our internal races or castes so that each individual may live up to their full potential as they were intended to. With the slaves, serfs, and merchants have an answer to the nobility and each being given the form of justice they deserve, nothing can stop us. With the caste system, even way low. Oh, wow, look at that. Corby system with the caste system, huh? Well, we get way less monthly population, but not bad overall. Legion will declare an attack on modern institutions for some time. Nice. I like this whole occultist nobles thing. That looks really good. Corby system? Not bad. Could be worse. Could be way, way worse. I do hope these guys do go to war with us, because I do want to go to war with them eventually. You guys are what? 18 combos, which is not terrible. We need way more, and it looks like we can get some air stuff done. Nice. How we doing? And there you are forcing attack on defense. Okay. Very odd, but sure, why not? Camacy near a found. After torturing enough captured Camacy air agents, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong, we've long last discovered the, the, the HQ and a farmhouse in rural Palermo. With Bernardo At Atolico and Maria Scalba themselves being apprehended in the raid. Carmen Sense and Luigi Rizzo were not found, however, and are said to have fled to Portugal where the Catholic government protects them. Nonetheless, from the supplies found, it is both clear they were receiving. Look at that, that looks really cool. Receiving foreign funding and, more importantly, have lost too much to recover as they have been chipped away at for too long to handle a blow of the size. While not all systems have embraced us, this may mark the end of our largest internal political resistance now. While the commissionaire and soldiers are being publicly executed, the question remains what to do with their leaders, with some advocating a harsher death and others wanting to throw them in a deep hole and see if they break up to give up more information. Public stoning? Throw them in the obletets. Weaken them. The King and the Baron. It appears as though the bond between King Emmanuel III and his High Chancellor, Baron Julius Evo, has grown in, well, grown in recent months. The two hold many share the two hold many shared opinions on the king's power and dignity, on culture and the proper way of living one's life, and both often unite in their hatred of the Catholic Church. Liberals, socialists, politicians, progressives, democratic conservatives, bourbons, anti-colonialists, republicans, soft men, of course, insubordinate women and hedonists. Hunting trips, fishing, and hiking are an increasing common pastimes for the two as they review stately material and has shifted the king and into accepting even more right-wing positions than he held before. A model friendship. As it should be. You guys train as well. Not bad. Just just relentless assaults by the German. My goodness. <clears throat> the Vatican, my friends, is vulnerable, though. Even with the socialists of the North. And their cause discredited by the Papal States continues to play their power games, proving that they always aid themselves to the cost of true leadership. A time for the worship of the Pope is over the state. And the, his message of meekness and charity ends now. Rome demanded. Oh, wait. Do we just demand Rome? Can we just get it? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I kind of want to start the war between us and them, just to get this started over with. I would love to just take them out. Then again, I could say that about a lot of people. But, oh well. <clears throat> uh, ship designers of planes. Probably planes, honestly. Whoa. It's 
a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Fighter, I always go with fighters. It's, it's, it's just you gotta establish domination, right? You gotta show them who's big boss. Hey, he's level two, not bad. How are you doing, Giovanni? Messi. We just have no fuel. Because I think our guys are continually training. We'll take a thing of fuel, sir, yes. Um, you have better spotting speed, so we'll go with you. And you guys, Salvatore Totaro. I do like cooling down. Torpedo effect's pretty good, though. Go sell hunter this time. Yeah, Lancer's okay, it's not bad. But getting these two, I think it's just probably better. Because you can get Torpedo Expert and the, that one, so actually, I think it's. The benefit's just better overall. Nice. Peasant re revolts suppressed. In the capital of Calabria, Catanzaro, some of the serfs had yet to fully accept their place in the new order, and under the inspiration of an anti evolian poet named Filippo de Nobili, decided a revolt was the best choice. Choice and chance, hoping it would inspire others to destroy our most noble beings. This failed, of course, but due to our reputation, they decided to fight the last men and women, which made it especially costly to us, with the event already being called the Pillage of Cantanzaro. More pressingly, however, the revolt only seemed to get out of hand because the local soldiers decided to retreat instead of fighting them as ordered by their legionary commanders. We'll need a set of precedents to make sure this does not happen again. This popular proposal is to revive the Roman practice of decimit decimatio, in which all the disobedient soldiers will be drawn from a lottery, and the 10% who get the losing straws will be beaten to death by the comrades. This popular proposal will include leaving it in the hands of the commanders themselves, at the cost of king's authority, or wiping out every coward which, while tempting, would cost us much cannon fodder in our war against socialism. Of course, this will also be a setting of precedent for the future. Ooh, that's not bad. Leave it for the commanders. Get rid of them all. Ooh, that's a lot of command power. I like that. You get a lot more political power. Um, can we afford to hit like that? I kind of like that one, but get rid of them all. Now, we're, we're, I'm just trying to max out party popularity. I like this. Superstitious citizens. Most of our citizens know little about the occultism present among such much of the legion, and are loyal nobility, but with our growing success in the religion of tradition, getting traction at the expense of the papacy, many are beginning to believe it into it to some degree, even if it is limited to fearing the magical powers of Evola and its inner circle, or simply feeling that loyalty to the papacy is growing increasingly pointless. As such, they are less willing to work with the enemy, and even common soldiers pay more respect to the faith, despite its man more demanding nature. Well, there goes those guys. We lose research speed, but more encryption, decryption, no, encryption, stability, recovery rate, consumer goods, more critical population factor, and even more political power. Nice. That's awesome. Nice. Recognizing alchemy. I'll recognize it. With all his faith and tradition, uh, gaining increased presence among our state, he has begged for us to establish a council of alchemists who will work for or work to study what he calls ancient truths that one can cast on, cast light on our age of darkness. Well, the king does not believe that he, this. This, he understands that it would gain the favor of the legion and undermine traditional faith. And, of course, keep superstitious citizens fearful for of their powers very well. Okay. A little bit ahead of time. You might need some anti-air. You never know. Here, grab some of that, too. Fleeting being is very nice, too. Anything else here? Guns are looking okay-ish. Artillery is looking okay-ish as well. Not a ton of artillery. 1200 is not bad, but still. I just want tons and tons and tons and tons of artillery. So if we can do that, that'd be great. Oh, oh we can do this one too. Venetia. Well, we must do this one get into the research slot as well. At long last, we've made a sovereign whom can officially be beyond the laws of man, whose word should be the final one in all legal and spiritual matters, and whom is as close to the higher powers that be than any of us hope to be. Even a warrior nobility must understand that he embodies tradition is to be worshipped as such. Yeah. And I want to do that one next, of course. But with this one, we get a claim of Venetia, greatly increased religious influence, get a war goal against the Time Federation, get some more war sport, political power, a research slot. Overall, it's just really, really good. And we can go to war then. And hopefully we can strike out and at least take Anzio and Roma first. And of course, I do want to, when we do this one, I do want to finish the Vatican's vulnerable as well, but we'll see. Our fellow Legion. Oh, that's really close though. There's a legion of wars whom have also come to reject modernity in favor of national mysticism that allows men to come into contact with the very soul of the race together. Our legions whom do not fear death will overcome the modern incarnations of Kali Yuga, liberalism, modernism, and, of course, socialism.
Not great there, but that's okay. And keep expanding if we can. Uh, what do we want here? Better recon, probably. Ooh, oh, okay. better logistics. And then better recon. Of course, we can't afford both. Or either one, really, right now. But that's okay. That's a okay. Keep training, guys. Keep training. And how are we doing with the Navy? They're still training as well, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, boy. No fuel is no good. National takeover. Very nice. Oh, it looks like a mess. We could get involved there, but I don't really feel like it. We're about to go to war with Italy soon, too, so... Other Italy. Fake Italy. Alright, war propaganda. So here, I'm gonna wait. Cruiser, carrier, heavy ships. Ooh, deck size is the most important one. Heavy ship armor. Yeah, we'll that one. Yeah, I'll do our fellow agent because we can. Nice. Uh, how strong are these guys? As volunteers. Pious. We have a lot more manpower. Oh, we might be able to do actually okay, depending on their strength. But a fifth research slot, it's just so beautiful. It's so nice. You know what? I might just switch this now. The organization's just so good to get, though. Alfredo Pizzoni. A pizza secchia. I'm going to go with Alfredo because it's like a sauce. And Pizzoni is very close to pizza. Nice. Very nice. The Vatican's vulnerable. We have established fruitful relations with the Rom Romanian Iron Guard. With a handful even being sent over to help us stabilize the situation. They have already agreed to the ideas of a defensive alliance. Something more of our advisor's support as it will allow us to be flexible in our foreign policy. Most legionnaires prefer an outright alliance led by the two Sicilies, but our advisors are claiming we can simply should not have the strength to fight all of our enemies just between the two of us, and a defensive alliance is more practical. We will do that one first. No guarantees for anything, but go and do that. Get two. Doing pretty good. You go there. Get ready to go to war. Get some fuel. Get ready to go. And enjoy ourselves. Uh, let's do the Vatican is vulnerable first, and we'll do that focus. Yeah. And of course, like I said, we want to need to do a platonic church, but called societies. Despite as predicted having lower acceptance amongst our masses, our newly established ruling classes come to embrace the Volus religious beliefs far more com comfortably than the alternatives offered by Catholicism and, of course, atheism. Occult societies will encourage brotherhood, faith, and cooperation between the Order and their admirers, and accelerate our society towards containing, at its core, an esoteric soul. Oh, yes, please. Oh. I go to Japan too. Our finest are going to be that. Please go ahead. So now we will have to wait and have to have Rome rise first. So in the meantime, officer training. Our officers must be made thoroughly familiar with our new centralized command structure and if need be retrained. So give us Rome. Give us Rome. Okay, they. Okay then. Squeezed by enemies on all sides, perhaps he decided it would be better be, to be evacuated, as many of their bureaucrats and surrender the region to Victor Emmanuel III, a known longtime enemy of the church, rather than lose everything in a pointless war. However, they still encourage Catholics to resist the regime on the way out. Nonetheless, it appears that both Emmanuel and Evola have triumphed over their old over their old four. Finally. Schnikes, we actually we got it. Holy crap, I did not think that. The Black Prince. Well the Papacy evacuated the Pope and bureaucrats to stay wary of the king in its attempts to dissolve all. Its military navies, so that would not fall into the hands of Evola, were less than successful thanks to the intervention of Junior Valero Borghese, aka the Black Prince. An aristocrat and ultra rightist, Borghese was a papal admiral whom secretly harbored strong Evolian sympathies, and found a small cell of officers whom decided that if the papacy evacuated, they would stand by Rome and therefore the King of Savoy. The cell volunteered to stay behind to secure the evacuation, and once they had left, told the military and navy they were now in services of the nation. A true warrior and hero, the Black Prince, shall be made an admirable repute for his loyalty despite the Catholic Church's hatred of him, whom are now doing all they can to convince the populace this treachery was planned in conjunction with the House of Savoy, a great man. Oh, very good. Restore order. Oh, we get a court. We don't have a court on it yet, huh? Well, that's quite uh, unfortunate. Actually, with that in mind, we can just go and do this stuff. Yeah, that's true. Not bad. We have a couple seconds here first, and then we will head on in. Uh, at least to the best of our abilities. You know, before we even do that, let's go and save and just go straight on in. Just in case. Well, it's been fun. Yeah. 
You might be able to do well, you might not. We're here to take that risk. Ooh, they're doing force defense. Ooh. What do we force the attack? Oh, yeah, that division's dropping. Yes, 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 yes. We're getting hurt, and they're getting hurt very badly as well. Go, 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 go. That's one way just literally to delete enemy divisions, which is awesome. A primordial revival. The faith of tradition <clears throat> has become a truly religious minority in our territory, and the king's word now at least rivals that of the papacy among his followers. With many citizens hoping to appeal the forces, or appease the forces around them, many are performing rituals for good luck and attempting to hex enemies in a syncretism of Catholicism and evolving occultism has grown in pro prominence. Traditional followers of Catholicism are dismayed at this, but are becoming increasingly reluctant to confront it, as they are now uncertain of where even their own neighbors' sympathies lay. As long as they don't hex us, we'll be fine. Unless we should just be, but that's okay. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, you know what? You go here. Help them out. You know, go up here if you can. Frenze. Um, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Actually, go right there. Do that. It's fine. I mean, it'll be lost. Probably. Okay, rebuilding the Colosseum. The radical traditionalists have long thought it was nonsense to let the ancient ruins of Rome fall in disrepair. Claiming that this was treating the Roman spirit as those dead when it was still alive, but just needs help being revived in her spiritually dead age that it denies the divine. A first stop for this would be the symbol of the Roman Empire's greatness and of the war of virtues. Namely, the Colosseum, or as my mom calls it, but the Colosseum, which is a desire to be rebuilt to its former glory. It will be expensive, there's little question that the game switch theater would be popular. Why would we not want it? Why would we not want that? Ravina. No Ravana. Keep him in place. Keeping these guys in place is the most important thing. Ooh, Austria intervenes. Well, it's a good thing they're not intervening in our war. For now, at the very least. Oh, Lord, you look at that. An encirclement. It'd be a shame if we started using subs, so we're not going to start using subs right now, for so. Keep him in place. Oh, look at you look at that, my friends. A few thousand dead. Wow, this is really easy. Why is this so easy? Because they gave up Rome, maybe? Now, will this put us at war with anybody else immediately? Oh, they died. Goodbye, sir. Bergamo. Bergamo. Nice. Officer training, then. Uh, which means... Uh, our officers must be made thoroughly familiar with our centralized command structure and need to be retrained. Platonic Church. The Papal states, armies may have fallen, but the Church itself still has too much influence to do away with at the moment. However, installing scriptures that adhere to the Volus interpretation of uh, Neoplatonism and Hermeticism, so that Catholicism moves in the correct or at least tolerable direction, would be a goal to, to strive for. A good goal. A very good goal. Nice. I'd love to like just force attack again, but let's not do that. I guess we're fine doing that. That's fine, it's fine. The militia might be okay. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, I should have waited to do this one. Oh, we can't even do that anyways. That's fine with them. Whatever. Uh, 39. Not quite there yet. Ship stuff? Here, get some of that, because you can. Restore order. Establish or identify claim on Nice. Oh. Annexed by France since 1860. Nice is properly, properly part of the Italian domain. Is there not just to establish more permanent claim in the region? Or identify claim on Savoy. Annexed by France in 60, of course. Yeah, it's not bad. I do want to do restore order to Latium first, though. You'd have to go pretty darn far. We killed off 85,000, though. Nice. Very nice. Torino. Force the attack. One point six six a day is not bad. Restore the Roman Empire. Oh, wow. We're retaking the lands of Italy now. Can be taken seriously as heirs to Rome. Attack Venice. Time's come for Resorgimento to be completed, and we must liberate the workers of Venice and incorporate them into the Social Republic. I don't know, what, I don't know if we call ourselves really socialist anymore. Lost supply consumption? Nice. Oh. Oh, well, see, that's easier than I thought it would be. We even have divisions guarding our. Oh, it's not going to be easy, you know, is it? Oh boy. 
Oh, Venice is part of them. That's going to be a big old pain in the butt. Huge pain in the butt, actually. Follow the pain The bastion of so-called Italian cynic cynicalism is <clears throat> in our hands, demonstrating uh, the superiority of moral fiber. We must finish off our ultimate enemies while we can. Name of the cynicalists who destroy our flesh with their weapons and even more dangerously, the Christian socialists. We must seek to destroy our spirit through the disgusting and advocacy of egalitarian pacifism. Nice. Very nice. Destroy the Roman Empire. Of course, maybe establishing claims outside of Sicilian territory. Let's let's start doing that one first. Rogan is the railway system. Yeah, I'm kind of okay for that for now. Can we actually really do anything against these guys? I mean, it would definitely help out, but mm. but now you guys have to be even more around this area too. Just not good. Yeah, we need way more divisions for that too. So. We could probably push into the some of the mountains there, but not bad. Not bad at all. Argentinian free territory, not bad. Pretty good. Cannons, it's not that head attempt going to that one. It's fine. 1.72 is pretty good every day. Ah, uh, we become Rome again. So that's that'll be the next one we do. That's complete to reinforce the coast, reinforce the southern front. Kingdom of Sicily is fully independent. Huh. Maybe I should have waited for that one. Platonic Church? Why not? This is it just a ship? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. We're actually building quite a bit more up now. Which is actually awesome. More roads? Because we can. Eventually. Savoy and Nice, where are we at? For oh, we're actually doing okay on supplies for now-ish. Not bad. And restore the Roman Empire. Well. Return to Rome. We were taking the lands of Italy from the socialists, republicans, pretender kings, and papacy. With our power undeniable and our revival of the ancient spirit, we can at least give Rome the dignity it deserves and continue its legacy under its name. But which would be most appropriate? Third Rome. Third Rome. El Nuovo Ordino. Roman Empire. Kingdom of Rome. Oh, I'm not really sure. I don't like Kingdom of Rome. That's okay. Third Rome, I, I just keep thinking of Russia that way. Maybe just Roman Empire would be easy. It would be really nice. Third Rome. Well, hmm. I'm not a big fan of that name at all. So you guys, we're going to split these guys between these two groups here. So that'd be nice. Oh. Look at the Barty Economy and all of them down there. Goodbye, guys. On Savoy. Oh, wait. Do we really own Savoy? Huh. Hmm. What's the point? All owned states are currently also controlling. Let's complete a re reinforce our southern front. What about a platonic church? The West. Ah. Oh, we go to war with the Swiss Confederation or the Old Guard. Austria as well. We'll probably do that one. The old world. A little bit more difficult to witness than the greatness of Austria and Greece. Once the bastions of the Holy Roman and Macedonian Empires, respectively, in the case of the latter Sparta, being degenerated by liberalism and modernism. It's time to bring back the old world's greatness. Really is, man. Really is. Keep building for now. And build up way more millies. Build them there, too. So, one, two, three. I don't mind building up some roads as well. I mean, they're not really that important, but whatever. Still build them up because we can. Mm. I do that too. We need way more units now. We need more guns. We need more artillery. Pretty normal stuff, if you ask me. That's why we want one, two, some. Here, finish that one off very quickly. Very, very soon. Which would be great. And honestly, we'll probably go to war with these guys too. That'll take some pressure off the economy of France. So. And they could honestly probably use it, so. Yeah. And if we can move in fast enough, that'd be good too. Rush in and take get to the mountains just to defend in the mountains. Yeah, as much as I want to take these guys out, which would be actually pretty good to defend in, because the mountains are so bad to work in. I'm just gonna war them anyways first. But are we really ready? I'd rather just sit here and just like tank him tank him. So Platonic Church, the old world, and probably go to war with those guys over there too. Probably. Oh, the old world's a very short focus. The West too, huh?
Oh, well, well, Africa's broken the chains. The West. Western Europe, <clears throat> once once the dominion of the great empires, the greatest empires of the left, followed by a feudal societies that celebrated noble virtue. Now it is decimated by socialism and papal influence. It wants to take Gaul and Hispania, but bring them back into the rightful place. And we'll do it anyways, because we can't wait on. As long as he's, oh, they did push him out, which is good. Paris is not far city, which is not good to see. Yeah, we definitely got a good war with them pretty much immediately. Looking not bad, not bad. Could use more soldiers, though. Because we are going to get our butts naval invaded like crazy. All over the flipping place here. Nab Namiblan? I don't want to lose a lot of army XP, especially to guard, like, tiles and such, so. He's going to make a lot of units more quickly. Um, 39, pretty much. Yeah, that's already 39. Happy 39, everybody. Get more cap and we'll get more guns and stuff like that, too. Old world? Well, we'll see what happens. Swiss Plateau, huh? Don't lose Paris. Don't lose Paris. Nice. Very good. The West. The Barbarians. Arabs and Parthians. Gelbelin Revival. Against the Mercantiles Gelps, the Gelbelin understood that spiritual power should rest with the Emperor alone. The law of Salt Usher and the fall of man from rule by the nobles to mercantiles, so we must revive their legacy. This may turn the tide as one closest to the transcendence. The king has total authority over religious law, but with the papacy being grateful for what they get. Let's say before we make a colossal mistake here. Just in case. And guys go in pretty much immediately. I'll go to where these guys do. You got some crazy hair, dude. Force it. Fighting over the river is just god awful, but you know, this will help. Rowan is very nice, too. Go in, go in, go in. Get to the mountains as fast as possible. You guys, it's fine. Get there. On Trentino? Yeah. Well, it's Italian territory. The Trentinos passed through the Austrians after the Napoleonic Wars, which is our interest to establish more permanent claim on the region. Hey, Vince is gone. Nice. Move in if you can. Because my goal is just to hold the line. Like I said, hold the flipping line. Oh! Hey, oh! Venice just gave up! Hey! Not bad! Can you actually win there and do well? Has been reunited. Welcome back! Why not? Venezia is going to need to be guarded as well. Because they will they invade, like I said. They will absolutely invade. Udin. Nice. So that's fine. As long as y'all don't lose too much, we can shore up some more support here too. The West. Berbers and Gauls. Do we have any expression down this stuff? Ooh, that's not good. Uh oh. Yeah, no, just as guys doing that. That'll be fine. Uh Berbers and Gauls, we can get more wars, but we already have enough on them, so we can wait to do these ones. In the meantime, we'll be doing Fronte Militare Clandestino. Clandestino. Much of modern warfare is fought before a single shot is fired. By establishing a central military intelligence agency, we can know our enemy better than he knows himself and shroud our plans in penetrable secrecy. Central logistics. Centralized systems of distribution are inherently more efficient. By eliminating wasteful logistical systems evolved to, or developed to support the disorganized Red Guards and expanding those that are most effective, we can both save money and ensure that our soldiers are better equipped. Military buildup. We need um, Aditi del Pulpo. All right, prepare for liberation. The Italian military of old was an impressive and reactionary institution. While we've made great strides to eliminate such reactionary ideas from our own armed forces, we must not have, we must have not entirely succeeded. Let's create a truly social army. Formalization or formazione di difesa proletaria. The group or proletarian defense formations are men and women that are dedicated to defending the republic and the revolution, but who seek to do it in more sport roles, from radio operators to nurses. Everyone can do their role to defend the Italian revolution and Arditi del Popolo. Popolo. 
The Arditi are an immensely successful elite alpine of star force created in the Valkyrie. We must have a comparable force that is also socialist in nature, or at least national populist. Emmanuel recognizes leader of Catholicism. The Platonic Council, made up of largely a former clergy who are preserving as much of Catholicism as they can and headed by a new pope, have gathered to crown King Emmanuel III, the religious leader of the Catholic people, noticing that the church will now be in service, of course, to him. Uh, of course, the Catholic Church and next all denounce him as anti-pope heretics and refuse to accept this, but as nonetheless, he's concerned among some of our more traditional citizens. We move further from Kali Yuga. The King's Spiritual Power The Papacy monopoly over a population of spiritual life has finally been broken. The King's word is followed by a large enough group or uh, a large enough sect of the people and nearly all the legion nobility that he functionally has more influence than the Pope that does within our society, especially since the Papacy in exile has extreme difficulties communicating with their followers here. For those who believe in the King, they will gladly die in battle if you order them to. May he live... <clears throat> Forever. The Colosseum has been finished. The Colosseum has been brought back to its former glory. At least as far as architect architecture is concerned, to truly reflect Roman values, you must allow battle to take place once again. Between prisoners, slaves, and volunteers whom desire greatness. It also give those of noble spirits whom happen to be born in a lower caste a chance to demonstrate their true value and gain the recognition they deserve. And provide the locals with a planet for entertainment as well as a taste for warfare. Gladiatorial games? More daily political power stability weekly war sport? What is this one? Gladiators and chariots. Same stability, same weekly war support, but you get plus 2% more cavalry attack for 10 more political power, and you get more war support. Why not choose this one? Only hold ordinary events? Gladiators and chariots all the way. The king attends the first game. The king has decided to personally attend the first gladiatorial game with High Chancellor Evola at his side. A battle between a Retinarius armed with a net and trident and a Murillo armed with a gladius and Sectum's shield. They both fall well, however, in the end, the Morelio overcame the Retarius, or Retarius, pinning him to the floor with his foot. He then looked at the crowd and saw that nearly half of whom showed their thumbs to symbolize finishing the fallen foe with the sword, whilst the rest showed compressed fists that hid their thumb to symbolize sparing the man and sheath the sword. Unsure what to do, he looked to the king to decide. He fought well with a compressed fist. He should have fought to the end. Thumbs up. He fought well. A compressed fist. And here we are at, everybody, which we're doing some military build-up. In an age of industry, the nation which produces more has a significant strategic advantage. We must invest in the establishment of several new military arsenals. Mobilize the people. Arms industry. Yeah, why not? A soldier without a rifle is no soldier at all. Our men must never be without small arms. They need to protect themselves in a great republic. But right now, we're doing okay. Uh, I don't know why, but Bohemia pulled a lot of their divisions away. Actually, the enemies pulled off a lot of divisions from their front, which is fine with me. Which is actually really fine with me. Just so that we can start spreading out a little bit more. Because all we need to do is capitulate Austria. And they've lost just about 800,000 soldiers in total, which is actually pretty darn decent, I'm not going to lie. This guy's learning a lot. Skill level 6, skill, skill 9, though. We've just taken Salzburg, which is great, 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 great. Just slowly moving through here. It's, it's definitely slow going. And I would like to have a solid one front line, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, but yeah, overall, not bad so far. Not too shabby. Could be a little better, though. We have slowed down just a wee bit. If we could take this tile, though, wow, you recovered very quickly, which is awesome. That'd be very, very good. Uh, my clique is gone, which is fine. You recovered very quickly again. It's very good. Take Gorazia and these two tiles. That's all I want are these two tiles right now. Did we get encircled here? Oh my goodness, that's so bad. I want you guys to stop attacking. You guys stop attacking because you're taking quite a few casualties there. Um, you guys go right there. I want you to hold. Hold. Defend for now. You guys can do that too. I want you to hold. I want you to hold as well. Looks like we were defeated there. Just keep defending. You go into here. Because they're all the same types of division, basically. Um... That tile's not bad to grab. It's not super important, though. I'd rather you hold and make sure you do okay. Really don't want to lose these divisions, but this is a good way for us to, like, attract their divisions and help just, like, beat them up and stuff, so. No. No, hold. Over there, just find the full. Oh, crap, that's not good. It's really not good. Um. Come on. You guys can get take these guys out. <clears throat> We've lost a lot of things, a lot of guys. We need way more artillery. Actually, 82,000 is not really too bad. Why are we taking so long for this? 
I, I really don't understand. This one too. What's a hold up? We got a lot of political power though. Better than uh, Campia? Why not? Why not? But a couple more advanced uh, military research. By centralizing your military research and focusing on one area of military technology at a time, our research and development system can be much more efficient and effective. And artillery effort? No combat is expendable, no, no loss without anguish. We have some ample artillery to soften up the enemy before an engagement. Oh my god, these guys are pathetic. Well, if that's the case, you better be able to concentrate right here as, as you're going to continually just attack, 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 attack. Which is fine with us. Because we got plenty of political power now. Plenty, 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 plenty. Just see, what, 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 these guys are not that big. Then again, we probably don't have air superiority. Which is quite the issue. We need, we need more military factories as well. Yeah, they're definitely forcing the attack quite a bit here. Which, don't get me wrong, is not terrible, but... Oh, well. But I did want to show you where we're at right now, and how we're going to be doing this uh, for the future. Or at least in the next coming episodes. I'll read a couple more books just so I can finish more of this off screen. Anti-air artillery. Our brave comrades in arms have a little hope against an enemy aircraft with only a rifle. Toad anti-air guns, however, can only do too much to keep the men safe and the skies clear of reactionary hawks. Uh, Anti-tank artillery. The armor of tanks has grown rapidly over the past several years. Both man portable and older towed anti-tank weapons have become increasingly obsolete. To counter the growing threat of enemy armored vehicles, we must develop new anti-tank guns. Italian automotive unions. Auto Italian automobiles have long been the, the, the finest in the world. With the growing demand for equipment to motorize our army, we should integrate the automotive unions more closely with our military command structure. This should significantly lower production costs. Motorized offensive. With new motor vehicles rolling off production lines at unprecedented rates, we must now have to train our soldiers to use their new equipment more effectively. Well, both quality and quantity. Roll the Union on. Motorized units fight most effectively when supported by armor. To complement our motorization efforts, we should also invest in the development of more advanced tanks, the Legionnaire Air Force, as well as the Legionnaire Navy. Our Navy is in need of reforms and modernization. We have a vast shipyard to the industrial heart of Italy, and our various industrial unions should cooperate with the military unions in order to modernize the Navy. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we will hopefully have capitulated Italy, or not Italy, Austria and her allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.